and, and because it does look a bit boring down here, sheer spur of the moment, I'm adding a bulge. Goodness knows what it is. You see, in a way, my paintings are sort of abstract paintings in the sense that, um, in the sense that, uh, uh, now I'm going to put a fin on here, in the sense that the shapes of all the ships and everything are technically more of an abstract thing, really. You see, look how lovely this brush is. I decided to add a fin, and it's so easy to do with a good brush, which you have to wash out. I, I, will, I will look at this video and underline that. There, you see, look, I've made a mistake again. So what was quite a nice fin is now too big and heavy, so I've got to leave it. And in fact, what I will do is, if I reach for the water, stop any more boo-boos, this bit at the front, this bit at the front will have a bit of that on it. I think that's a, it's great fun when you've got little cutouts. Do you see, that would really work on the front. Do you see how it would have the light? So that is quite a nasty, fiddly job to do. But what the way to do it is, you start with the aperture, which is that. Now you paint the whole aperture in black, first of all. And, uh, I say it to myself, you wait for it to dry. So I'm just finding the right thing. Yep, black. Black. But this is coming on. I'm beginning to look interesting at last. That's it. The other worrying thing about a lot of paint is it does go off. Some of my tubes are extremely old, but um, I, I am using some paint which is 15 years old. Well, wow. but modern paint is often, I don't know if it's of the same standard. Now this is really beginning to give me an interesting feel. So if you see, I've completely ignored all the construction lines and I've simply relied on the paint itself to give it the structure. So you see, this black is probably 16 years old. So it's not really mixing that well. But I'm a tight fisting git, so if it's the underpainting, you can... Um, Put it on and then obviously for the top coats you can use new paint but you see I like that this this has got to be the main feature of it there look this is coming together now There. Now this, that I will let try. You can quote me. You see, I'm dying to get on with it already. I can see the permutations. You see where there's that likeness? I think actually it's going to be some sort of an indent, but I'm just going to have to behave myself and, and wait. You see, look, I've already run over. So frustrating. Now, this, in fact, will be black, so I can put this in here and then there's a, this intriguing piece of kit. I'm getting lazy and I should have cleaned the brush to do that bit. There, better stop. Water. 
move the water over to this side. It's all the problem knowing where to put stuff so that it's accessible and with a bigger painting it's always a bit of a job. There we are. These little guys. And then the shadow can come down a bit. And this guy has his shadow. And that comes down a bit. There. Now, I should be more disciplined than this, but I can't resist just shading around these nozzles a bit. I shouldn't really. Here we go, look. So if you dilute the paint enough, you can get away with it. This one, that one. And then obviously you're gonna to have to pick those out. There. So now we are beginning to get somewhere. So I really must let all the paint, to, oh yes, look, there's a bit of a question mark up there. But this guy, I don't know what this is, but it's quite fun just to pick it out a bit, to hint at what it's going to be. And I can just see a slight bump. So that is going to be something. So look, I'm just having a bit of fun picking out things to hint at what those might be when I start again tomorrow. But this bit we can tidy up. This white is also quite old, probably 16 years. So that is a job to use. There's a lot of it. An average tube of paint would do about 30 paintings easily. Hold on. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. It's got a little bit of a skin on it. Indeed, it has. Now, where are we? No, it's the right one. Oh, look. In fact, it's going on rather well, isn't it? Look at this. There. And then, look, you can just hint at something in there. Isn't it funny? Just when you're beginning to stop, it behaves itself. I hope that is... I'm wondering if this is oil paint, you know? Are you tasting it, Dad? No, not yet. Um, no, it must be... Um, let me see if it washes out. Yes, it does. Well, that is a puzzle. I think you used that too, didn't you? Yeah, that's that, yeah, that's acrylic. Yeah. Now the acrylic cubes are very different, but I do do this. You do mix up the two paints, and then you're in deep trouble. But no, this is the white. And look, I went on about that artist who had just a tiny bit of paint on his thing. But look, I've got this tiny patch of white which is white, white. Look, so it will go on. And this is what you find. You find tiny little bits in all those piles of stuff, which is exactly right for what you're doing. There you see. So this is going to make it stand out up there. Oh, this is going to look quite nice. There is something very fiddly. Now, I ought really to tone this down. I can't resist. But, you see, up to a point, that's why I do have battered and weathered spaceships, because then you're not obliged <laughs> to dry, put in beautiful shiny surfaces which are a sod to paint. 
Now we've almost got to it. That can wait. I'm going to put a gizmo in there and that will do the trick. Now the only thing I've got to do now, I'm underpainting in this colour, but a fin will be another colour. And do you know what I'm going to do? This is the lazy way to do it, but we're almost finished. If I get the masking tape, which is here, our lovely famous builders, not very strong masking tape. We can finish in style. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. This gives you a lovely hard edge. Mm. You can mix up exactly the right colour and whack it on. See how the paint's smudging in. I'm going to have to wait for a minute for that paint to dry. Otherwise, it gets very messy. Now, all I've got to do is pick a colour. I personally think it ought to be a very bright yellow. I think. I think it should be bright, bright yellow. Probably, yeah, to go up with these guys and everything. It's a bit more sympathetic. Right, there's that. That should stay on. I'm trying to think. Well, step one is to put white on, and then you have to wait for it to dry. And then red would be too dark. I think it's going to be bright yellow. Gee, oh, see, look, this is what happens when it gets to the end of the day. Not the best thing to do, but thank God that oil paint is so tough. Yeah. Right, that could be a star. Most dangerous time, you're tired, you all really to have stopped, and you keep trying to do that last bit. Okay, how we get on. Yellow is a very thin colour, so it will take a long time to build it up. So in fact, I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done is to put on, and it doesn't want to go on, a really nice thick white. which we can do here. Make sure your tape is on. Now that is going to need at least three coats of white and then you can put the yellow on. So even though the yellow hasn't dried up there, I'm going to Knock a bit of white in. Yeah. I think yellow is going to work. So we'll just leave it now. And really, that is it. The final, final thing I'll do 
which might not be a good idea, is with a fine brush, a finer brush, is using that same white mix to give me some idea of how this is going to go. Dob in the jets, but it needs an even finer brush than that. So, trying to find my fine brushes. Uh, ah, here we go. Right, these are a bit sad and tired, but they'll probably do the trick. And really, it's just to get a firm curve. It's not perfect. There. It can be refined when the paint dries. What I often do is overpaint the white and then come back in with the base colour, which I'm sort of doing on these two. There. Now I'm looking at those and probably we will get away with nice strong dab of white. Let's see how we get on. Yes you see, but that is going to need a lot of building up. A lot. And you can see this white is quite tired. There. And I think that is it for tonight. I could fiddle and fiddle, but I shouldn't. I can see exactly what I've got to do there. And part of me is saying, you really shouldn't do this. Particularly as it's not, a, in fact, it's a bloody awful brush. So let's see. It's very short on decent fine brushes. Ah. We really are scraping up. I can feel something in here. Here we are. Yeah. This one is absolutely on its last legs, but it might do the trick. It's just, so just to be safe, tap it in almost like a spot weld. But there you are, there you are. It gives you the shape of that aperture. There, ready for restarting. There. But it's white as, I think I've run it into the ground. There. But interestingly, I like the idea of it being a bulbous nose. So I'm just going to do this. Just in case I want it to be a bulbous nose tomorrow. There. I really must stop on that now. That's it. There's so much else to do, but let's just refine these curves. No, this brush has had it. It's uh, come back tomorrow with a, 
a new brush. There. There. That is it. There.